Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter, geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 36, Issue 8, titled, Opposing a Global Surveillance Disaster. This issue was published in June 2024, and I'm your host, membership advocate Christian Romero. Let's start with our top features. First up, UN poised to finalize cybercrime pact that's a blank check for surveillance abuses. The United Nations Ad Hoc Committee is just weeks away from finalizing a too broad cybercrime convention. This draft would normalize unchecked domestic surveillance and rampant government overreach, allowing serious human rights abuses around the world. See also our deep dive on how the flawed treaty would criminalize the work of security researchers and investigative journalists. Next up, EU Council Presidency's last-ditch effort for mass scanning must be rejected. As the current leadership of the EU Council enters its final weeks, it's debating a dangerous proposal that could lead to scanning the private files of billions of people. And now, we go through a few EFF updates. First up, how to fix the internet podcast, building a tactile internet. Chansey Fleet wants a technological future that's more organically attuned to people's needs, which requires including people with disabilities, including impaired vision and blindness in every step of the development and deployment process. Next up, the next generation of cell site simulators is here. Here's what we know. This technology is like dragging a fishing net rather than a single hook in the water. Every phone in the vicinity connects with the device. Even people completely unrelated to an investigation get wrapped up in the surveillance. And next, Car makers shouldn't be selling our driving history to data brokers and insurance companies. Have you ever got a lead foot when you're driving? If your car has internet capabilities, GPS tracking, or OnStar, your car knows your driving history. And now we know, your car insurance carrier might know too. Next up, surveillance self-defense for campus protests. The recent wave of protests calling for peace in Palestine has been met with unwarranted and aggressive suppression from law enforcement, universities, and other bad actors. We suggest some precautions activists should take to protect themselves and their communities. And for our last update, California lawmakers should reject mandatory internet ID checks. EFF has urged California lawmakers to oppose an ill-advised bill that would require internet users to show their ID in order to look at sexually explicit content effectively censoring the internet for all users. And now, let's go through a few announcements. First up, Summer Treats for the Web. EFF is celebrating its 34th anniversary with a mini-series of campfire tales from our friends, the Encrypteds, the rarely seen creatures who become digital rights legends. They've come out of the woodwork to celebrate the virtues of a web that supports online privacy, free expression, and digital access for everyone. The encrypteds may be mysterious, but your digital rights shouldn't be. Next up, EFF at Black Hat USA. EFF will be back in Las Vegas for Black Hat USA on August 7th and 8th. We'll be in the business hall, where you can come and say hi and learn more about the work we are doing to defend digital freedoms. EFF supporters attending in person can get $200 off briefing tickets by using the code EFF2024 when registering online. Next up, EFF Speakeasy in Berlin. Join Jillian C. York, EFF's Director for International Freedom of Expression, and local online rights supporters for a speakeasy meetup on Thursday, June 27th in Berlin, Germany. Raise a glass and discover EFF's latest work defending digital freedoms online. Next up, what does EFF mean to you? EFF is the leading nonprofit organization defending civil liberties in the digital world. But what does that mean to you? We'd love to know what you think of EFF. Why do you support us? How do you see our mission? And what's the issue you're most glad that we're addressing? Drop us a line at testimonials at EFF.org and let us know. And for our last announcement, welcome Yorba, EFF's newest organizational member. Welcome to Yorba, a secure online account management platform, as EFF's newest growing leader organizational member. And now we have a few job openings to go through. First up, Legislative Activist. EFF is seeking a legislative activist responsible for communicating to lawmakers across the country about the importance of EFF's principles to protect people's right to privacy, 
free expression, and innovation. This position is part of a highly cross-disciplinary activism team and will collaborate regularly with our organizing, legal, and technologist colleagues. Application deadline is Friday, June 28th. And for our last opening, legal interns. Applications are now open for the fall 2024 intern class with a deadline of June 30. EFF's legal internships provide law students with a unique opportunity to develop valuable skills and real-world experience while working with a nationally recognized public interest law firm. Legal interns learn from and assist EFF staff attorneys in all aspects of litigation, including legal research, factual investigation, and drafting of memoranda and briefs, while also helping with policy research, client counseling, and the development of public education materials. All right, now it's time to go through some mini links. This first one comes from Ars Technica. Elon Musk's X defeats Australia's global takedown order of stabbing video. Quote, global takedown orders threaten freedom of expression around the world, create conflicting legal obligations, and lead to the lowest common denominator of internet content being available around the world, allowing the least tolerant legal system to determine what we all are able to read and distribute online. End quote, said EFF's David Green. This next one comes from TechCrunch. Hacked, leaked, exposed. Why you should never use stalkerware apps. Quote, the people who run these companies are perhaps not the most scrupulous or really concerned about the quality of their product. End quote, said EFF's Eva Galperin. And we've made it to the last mini link. This one from the Washington Post. Your employer might be spying on your tech. Here's how to check. Quote, there's little transparency, end quote, around the bossware that employers use to surveil workers, said EFF's Haley Sugeyama. Quote, even figuring out what is on your computer can be a huge step to figuring out how you want to deal with it, end quote. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing or would like to learn more, subscribe at EFF.org slash effector. And if you donate by July 10, you can join EFF for just $20 and get two rare gifts featuring digital rights legends, the Encrypteds. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.